need to prove that if uh, if you add row one to row two and you get row three, that A does not have an inverse, right? So, uh, well, let's start with A. I mean, he's kind of walking you uh, through the problem. Uh, Well, uh, let's think about it this way. Let's say, uh, so we have, so let's say we have uh, row vectors, right? You're going to get, so AX is 1, 0, 0, right? And then F is uh, 2, 0, 0. Uh, connect back. The password is 2, 3, 7, 8. So this is AX. So we're supposed to have a matrix, let's say A1 uh, by A2, these are column vectors, by A3 uh, times X, so times matrix X, right? And uh, we're supposed here to get 1, 0, 0. Well, uh, what does this mean? If you think about it, this means uh, that uh, if you multiply um, uh, a1 times x, right? Uh, sorry, uh, I should maybe I should put these uh, more suggestively as rows rather than like this. Maybe I should line them up underneath each other. Uh, wait one second. Uh, so let's say that this is uh, uh, row one, A1, three elements, one, two, three. Okay, and then you have row two, and then you have row three. And uh, you multiply this by X, uh, which is your unknown matrix, uh, whatever it is, right? So this is a uh, three by one, and you're gonna get one zero zero. Now, what does this mean? Uh, well, this means uh, that uh, a one times matrix X, row one times matrix X has to equal one, because that's how you multiply a matrix: row times column. And this means that a two times X has to equal zero, and a three times X so matrix X has to equal zero All right but we already know from the given that row 1 plus row 2 has to equal row 3 which means so we are told that a1 plus a2 has to equal a3 All right well, uh, I could multiply each one of these rows by X, post multiply by X, matrix X, and it should still work because uh, uh, because the multiplication is possible. So I can multiply each one by that matrix. So that means I, if I do that, I will get A1 times matrix X, row one times matrix X, plus row two times matrix X has to equal uh, row 3 times matrix X Right and we know that a 1 times X is 1 Right It's right here. That's 1 So this first one is 1 and row 2 times X is 0 right, but Row 3 times x is also 0. Well, 1 plus 0 does not equal 0. So this is false. This is false. So, so, uh, so this cannot have a solution. Right? So ax equal 1, 0, 0 cannot have a solution. That's why doing these steps.
okay now it says which right side might allow association to ax equal b okay so if so ax so this is part b ax has to equal b well that just means ax minus b uh, these are all matrices of course has to equal the zero matrix uh, so if a is made up of a1 a2 a3 column uh, and here we have our x column and then we're gonna subtract the b column which is made up of three elements so let's just call them uh, b1 b2 b3 since we are solving for these uh, and this has to equal zero 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 okay well uh, obviously uh, a1 times x uh, minus b1 has to equal zero which means a1x has to equal b1 and with the same exact logic a2x has to equal b2 and a3x has to equal b3 right but we know from the given that uh, row 1 plus row 2 has to equal row 3 okay so if row 1 if a1 plus a2 has to equal a3 I could do the same exact thing I did in the previous part I could pre multiply or post multiply by b uh, by x each one of them so uh, if I do that I will get a1x plus a2x has to equal a3x okay but a1x is b1 and a2x is b2 has to equal a3x is b3 so that means for this to be a solution b1 plus b2 has to add up to b3 uh, and then uh, in question in part c it says what will happen to row 3 in elimination uh, row 3 will be 0 when we eliminate so for part c row 3 will end up equaling zero that does it